hey guys welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new my name is rosie and today i have something exciting to show you guys and it's about how to build a table lamp super easy using one of your favorite whiskey bottle wine champagne or any other bottle of your preferences so if you find this interesting please stick around till the end of this video so to start i'll attach the electric wire at the back of my bottle you can as well drill and pass the wire through it but for me i do not find that necessary since I'm going to dress my bottle at the end, so this is how I made it to be. So next I've used a card paper to extend the bottle neck, just long enough to create a gap between the bottle and the shade. But if you like, you can also replace this part with a PVC pipe or electric conduits so this is one way of recycling old bottles at home and turn them into gorgeous piece of art and like i've said it can be any kind whether it's an alcoholic or non-alcoholic just any kind of bottle that you can be comfortable to use but for me it's bellies and always been bellies guys so today it's going to serve me a different kind of purpose So next we are going to build a cute tiny stand for this guy and I've used the same procedure as the sculpture floor lamp. If you guys watched the video you can remember how it was done so I will not take your time to repeat it here. But in case if you're new here I will leave the link on the description box. Down below you can go and check how the process went down. So here we are, the stand is ready and now I'm gonna go ahead and attach the bottle to the stand using a hot glue gun. So for this tip, it's much more convenient if you can use a glue gun not to risk any movement. But if you don't have glue gun, you can also use a PVC adhesive or a generous amount of super glue as an alternative. And now the glue is dry and stuck firmly so next we are going to dress this little guy and give it an artistic look without covering its label and i'm actually using one of my old t-shirts to show you guys that you don't have to buy a fabric or waste a towel you can simply use one of your old clothing that you no longer need and still achieve the best artwork you can think of so as i'm doing here dip the fabric in a cement mixture and make sure it's fully coated and wrap up on a bottle and work on it until you get a certain kind of patterns
So as we are waiting for the semen to dry, let's start building the bulb shades. And what I have in mind for this particular project is a wine barrel. I actually thought of many other ideas at first, but I finally settled on building a cute little barrel as the idea will match with the overall concept of our art piece. So first thing first, let's make a stencil for a piece of a barrel wood so that we can keep them uniform and simplify our work. This is how the shape is supposed to look like and now we draw this on a cardboard and cut out as many identical pieces as we want. So basically this is the simplest trick I can suggest when working on a project that requires you to produce a certain kind of shape in quantities. It saves you time and helps you to achieve your work efficiently. So here I have the shape I wanted and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up with a wooden print wallpaper to make it look like an actual wood or timber. This wallpaper has stayed with me for a long long time without being used and it formed a wrinkles that I was unable to get rid of but I still went ahead and used it since I was unable to find something close to this one. And now let's make the spider fitters for our bulb shade and it's the same technique I've used when I did the jerrycan floor lamps and I'll still leave the link on the description box in case if you missed that out. So here we have everything we need to build our cute little barrel and I made two donut shaped circles for the upper and lower part of the shade and the spider fitter to hold the actual bulb. And this is how the entire process went down.
this is our illusion wine barrel. It looks cute, doesn't it? Except now from the annoying wrinkles from the old paper, everything looks nice. And as you can see, I did not cover the back since the barrel is opaque and it will swallow all the light coming from the shade, so I decided to leave it open. And now I'll use the remaining wallpaper to cover all the visible parts of the cardboard just to make it look more presentable. So here we are, almost ready, and now I'll attach the spider feeders. And like I've said before, if you don't like using an alcoholic bottle, you can simply replace this with a non-alcoholic soft drink bottles as your personal preference. And this art would look much better if displayed in a home bar table if you own one. Apparently we don't own that, so I'll simply leave it on a bedside table once I'm done. and few more touch-ups remaining. So I wanted to give my barrel more a realistic look, so I prepared a cardboard like what you are seeing here and used it to cover the two ends like the ring metal they used to intact the woods together. So the cement is dry and ready to be painted, but first I'll clean the cement drips from the bottle. And when you do this, you need to be extra gentle not to scratch the label. So like you've seen here, I've used black acrylic paint. I'll wait for it to dry and highlight the textures with burnt sienna and gold. Well, that's my personal preference. And you can use silver, caramel, blue, or any other color that you're okay with. Or you can even leave it with plain black. It will still come out beautiful. So what you're seeing me doing here 
is I'm covering the glass with some Mod Podge glue for a protection. This will clear as it dries and also prevent the labels from scratch and fade out in the future. And finally, here is our bellies looking gorgeous than ever in serving us as a table lamp. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like my content so you won't miss any in the future. Thank you so much guys for making it till the end of this video. Next time I'll see you with another work. Until then, keep safe. Bye bye.